In a rivalry that began in 1897 and is considered by many to be college football's greatest, Michigan and Ohio State had never met in a battle of number one versus number two. That would change on November 18, 2006, when the second-ranked Wolverines visited the top-ranked Buckeyes. But on the eve of the showdown, both teams paused to remember the passing of a legend. Bo Schembechler, a man admittedly made of 205 pounds of twisted blue steel, passed away this morning at the age of 77. The irony, of course, is that his passing comes on the eve of the biggest game in the history of the Michigan-Ohio State rivalry, a rivalry that in so many ways defined the legend of Schembechler. As big as this game was, number one versus number two, undefeated teams, the Michigan-Ohio State rivalry, is none bigger than this for the whole decade, I'm sure. It was still overshadowed by Bo's passing the day before. We all thought there was nothing that could be bigger than this game. We, this game was just receiving media attention all over, and all of a sudden, Bo passes away. I knew, because of who he was, that he would have told me to quit belly aching, get over it, and do the game. In September of 2005, I asked him kind of out of nowhere while writing that book, what he would do if he had one more week, what he'd ask for if he had one more week at the height of his powers. All I'd ask for is one more week in preparation for Ohio State. 14 months later, he almost exactly lived his last week the way he had hoped to live it. And after it happened, I said, wait a second, this sounds really familiar. And I went back to the tapes, and I went back to the notes, and I said, oh my God, this guy almost scripted the last week of his life. He gave the speech to the team the Thursday night before the Ohio State game. He was not doing well at that point, and Lloyd said, Coach, you don't have to do this. I can handle this. Go home and rest. He says, no, Coach, I have to. And he gave that speech, and the next morning is when he passes away. That's almost exactly what he'd wanted.